Hello again, everyone. Today I am here with a new size from Chic Sparrow of Traveler's Notebook called the Half Letter Size. So that's what this is here. I have some other notebooks to compare, some other size notebooks to compare. Uh, and I also want to take a look at this leather with you because it's also a new leather. I was originally going to do an unboxing of this and the timing just didn't work out with that. So it's already out of the box. <laughs> uh, but this is a great size. I uh, have not been able to jump into it yet, but I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, if you don't know, so half letter is essentially uh, eight and a half by 11. It will fit that folded. So that's, you know, eight and a half by 11. That's sort of the standard paper size. And then if you fold that in half, it will fit in the strings in here. And I don't think it comes in a folio. I think it only comes in Traveler's Notebook. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> Well, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the leather. So this is their new leather at the time that I'm filming this. It's a newer leather called Otter. Um, so this came out at the same time as another leather, leather actually I'm gonna put it that way so you can see the whole thing, uh, another leather called Cody. And I do actually have a Cody on the way. It restocked. Um, originally, if had the Cody been available, it was out of stock when I ordered this one. I, you know, I was trying to think, would I have ordered that in this size? And maybe no, actually, because I wanted something with a little bit more of a firm spine because I plan to chunk this up. And I also wanted something that wasn't going to be uh, too precious, although I don't know that the Cody would be, but um, I wanted something firm. And this leather, which is called Otter, is water resistant. So... Um, I do plan to do, you know, art journaling or junk journaling. Junk journaling is something that's a little bit new to me. Uh, I've been getting into it a little bit, but uh, I haven't really fully gotten into it yet. But, um, but that's one of the plans for this. And I really like the fact that I could just do something on a piece of paper, fold it up, and essentially make it a notebook by just doing that. Uh, so this, like I said, this is the Otter Leather, and it's really quite nice. Uh, I know some people have compared it to Claire, and um, I think sort of the general feel of the leather, yeah, it's like it's like Claire as far as thickness, and maybe the inside leather, it also feels a little bit like Claire, but the outside to me does not feel like Claire. It, um, I'm sorry, Outlander, well, Claire is the one everyone likes, which is the brown one. <laughs> um, the Outlander leather is what I meant to say. But this is, this feels a little bit more, I don't want to say sticky, but it's, it's like, it's not as smooth as the Outlander. The Outlander had a really like smooth outside. And although this is smooth, it has a little bit of drag, a little bit of texture in it. Um, and it feels a little bit greasier. Um, I don't think it really is greasier, but I think it, um, the feel is a little bit more like there's more oils in the leather. So uh, what, like I said, the reason why I got this one, so here's an example, I just scratched that with my nail, and you can pretty much just rub it out, which is really, I mean mostly, I don't know if it'll completely ever come out, but this is definitely the kind of leather that I like for uh, art journaling, especially because I don't need to worry about it. I just kind of throw it around and it's actually coming off a little bit more yellow on the screen. It's a little warmer brown than it's showing up on my monitor here. So this, I mean, this almost looks more like one of the um, yellow Outlanders that came out. I forget the name of that. Uh, maybe it was Fergus? That might have been it. It almost looks like that on my screen, but it is, it is very different than that. It's much warmer in tone trying to see oh it looks even lighter if I tilt it maybe sort of like over here in shadow or even here that's that's more what I'm seeing in person and I did put a note on my order that said um I can't remember if I said scars welcome or character welcome something like that but be, I think because of that there I got these this piece of leather with these little marks in it I do like marked leather, which is part of the reason why I'm looking forward to getting a Cody because supposedly they vary greatly. And on that one, I did say, you know, all the character you've got basically, because <laughs> I do like that. 
And that one will probably be a complete surprise when I get it. So I, I will do an unboxing of that one. All right, so let's go ahead and get on the inside of this. It's pretty much like every other Cascade notebook because you've got pockets here and then you've got a folio, like these uh, vertical pockets here. And then you have this, um, is it secretarial pocket? Yeah, and then you have the pen loop. So it's got all that, and this will be good for storing, you know, ephemera and all that kind of stuff here. It's not, I mean, it's the same width as the normal, um, normal <laughs> uh, pockets. It's not wide, much wider pockets like the number eight, which I do have to compare this to as far as size goes. Um, like I was saying, the inside of this leather feels nice. It's It does feel a little bit more like uh, Outlander on the inside. Um, it feels maybe a little bit drier under here, but I don't know. I don't know if that's really, that's really a thing, <laughs> but I love the cascade. I, oh, and, um, I think part of the reason why it's looking a little yellow too, and it looks yellower on the inside too than it is, does in real life is, uh, because this, this stitching is pretty yellow. It might actually be the gold stitching, um, I don't think it's like a metallic gold, but like gold colored. Um, so there you go. But I think the brown, the dark brown elastics go pretty well with that. And like I said, I'm really excited about using this for that kind of thing. Um, and as far as inserts go, I, I actually did do a little bit of Googling um, before filming this. And there are one or two half letter size notebooks available like on Amazon or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to put a link to them below because I don't really know anything about them. I just kind of look to see, is there already a pre-bound notebook that's in the half letter size? And there are one or two out there if you do some Googling. But my plan with this is to create my own inserts, either to just fold pages and put them in here as is, because you can just, <laughs> it does scratch, I'll tell you that. Um, but like I said, it rubs out pretty easy. Um... So yeah, you can just fold the paper and then put it under the elastics and you essentially have a notebook because all of your pages are together and they won't come out. Um, or I might bind them myself with like a pamphlet stitch, which is kind of the easiest binding to do with a needle and thread. Or, uh, you know, I could even staple them. I have one of those long arm staplers that uh, will let you staple further in on a piece of paper. I haven't used it much. I, I probably should use it more, but I, I kind of don't like staples as much as I like um, thread as a binding. All right, so let's get into some of the comparisons as far as size go. So I have them here on my floor. And I didn't have, I didn't have an A5 handy in Chic Sparrow. Um, so here are these notebooks here that I'm gonna compare, but I did have an A5, um, in speckled fawns and this you know this is not going to be the exact same sizing but the size is actually pretty close to an a5 i would say you know it's a little bit taller it's a little bit taller you can see it's about that much taller uh than this one anyway and you can uh it's just a little bit wider as well and like I said, the Chic Sparrow sizing on the A5s are going to be a little bit different. Um, but you'll you'll kind of see, I mean, you won't get the the width. The width is, I because I have different sizes here to show you, but none of them are as wide as an A5. So, um, but you are getting some extra width here on the side and you are getting a little extra height. I actually never thought about putting, um, trying to fold letter size paper uh, and then, you know, having it, like the half letter would indicate, uh, and putting it in here. I might try, because this, this I think is a little more generous than a normal A5. At least one from Chic Sparrow. Okay, so the next one I have here is the new number eight, which is an extra wide. Um, I think when I was talking about it in, my, in the last video where I showed this one, I said it was a wide. It's actually an extra wide, so it's a little bit wider than... Um, Oh, this is actually, so, and this height is going to be the same as an A5. So it's actually quite a bit taller and quite a bit wider than this, which is considered a double wide or an extra wide. 
So although this is a great size for art journaling, um, it's working really well. I actually never moved out of, <laughs> out of this uh, Austin leather um, notebook because I had the original number eight in the original leather and um, I, I just left all of my, when I transferred my uh, art journaling stuff into here, I just left it and it, it hasn't come out. So, okay, so wider and taller than that. I have a narrow, so a narrow is, a, is the same height. Actually, let me make sure it's the same height as the number eight. Oh, the number eight might actually be a tiny bit taller, but this is also an older, this is an older narrow size. So, um, so let me put that aside again. So this is the narrow size. And as you can see, quite a bit wider than the narrow, quite a bit taller. Um, but I mean, the, the sizing is pretty much, you know, designed to be uh, for that specific size paper halved. Okay, and I also have a B6 Slim just because that is my normal size. So for those of you that don't know, B6 Slim is essentially the same size wide as a narrow. Let me get that so you can see it. Same size as a narrow wide, um, but shorter. And um, I like both the, the narrow slash standard size and the B6 Slim. I think I just really like the width of those. But if I'm doing art journaling or something, I do want a little bit more width. Okay, so then here is the B6 Slim, which you're obviously gonna have the same amount over here as you did with the with the narrow because it's the same, it's the same width. And then you're obviously gonna have quite a bit more on the top. I really do wish that I'd had a Chic Sparrow A5 available, but I just don't have any here and I and I didn't have time. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I have a <laughs> I do. <laughs> I forgot that I had this in here. So this is, this is a classic, it's not a deluxe, but this is actually an A5. It's the hand-tooled leather, um, but this should be the same size as the uh, deluxe or the um, Cascade. So as I'm smushing it down, you can see it is a little bit wider and it is a little bit taller. So it's not a whole lot different than the A5, but I think you would have some overhang of paper if you tried to do the, um, the letter size paper in half. And I'm trying to see, let's see, because I think I have this, which is, um, so this, <laughs> this is a bigger piece of paper halved, but I think that this is eight and a half by 11. It came out of a magazine that I have here. Let me measure it just to make sure that we're looking at the right size here. So, Yes, so we have eight and a half across, and then we have 11. So eight and a half by 11, that's the standard letter size. And then, looks like I had something on it anyway. So if I have that, yeah, so it's super, super flush. This is the A5. So it's gonna be super, super flush with the A5. Um, and, Let's see, let's just go ahead and put it in one of the elastics. I think I had some, yeah, I had some um, little envelopes in here. I just taken something out that was in there. So if I, whoa, okay. Yeah, so first off it's, you know, really pulling front and back. And then if you close it, you know, it's not really the right size. It's not really the right size for that. Although width wise, it seems fine. Um, so let's see, let's see how that goes in here. Cause yeah, if you can see there's like, this is a pretty good size. Although it does seem a little wide to me. It probably could have been narrower. Okay. So eight and a half by 11 in half. So there you go. There you go. And this actually, the fact that it is kind of wide like that does give you extra room for like tabs or whatever. So I'm not, I'm not upset about that extra space.
but there is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper folded in half. And it's the perfect size height wise. Um, sorry for that sort of slapdash <laughs> example there. And I had totally forgotten that I had this in here. I, I was keeping stamps in here in these little folders. I was keeping my um, clear um, non-mounted st stamps in here and my collection just got too big. So I had to take it out of here and move into something else. But this is one of my favorite notebooks. I love this one. Okay. And yeah, so I think that's all I wanted to show you today about the half letter size. You know, could you get away with just an A5 size if you wanted to do something with half letter? I think you probably could, but you need to loosen your elastics so that they don't get um, crushed top and bottom, the piece of paper don't get crushed top and bottom, and you would uh, have to be okay with a little bit of overhang, potentially, I think. Especially, you know, if you did anything at all to the top and bottom of your paper, you would have some overhang. Whereas this one, it's all gonna be nice and cozy in there. And given that you do have what I would consider some extra width here, you could probably really chunk this thing up with half letter size paper. Um, and that might be fun just to make it super chunky. And like, I, I think I was saying this earlier, one of the reasons why I wanted this leather in this design is because I wanted something sturdy that was gonna have a fairly sturdy spine because um, given that I'm probably gonna kind of uh, beat this one up a bit, it'll be good to have that really sturdy spine. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to um, so you can know about my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, I am a Chic Sparrow ambassador, so please uh, see the box below and I will put a, um, a link that you can follow and a code that you can use for 10% off your, uh, your order. And I think you can only use the code once, but still, great deal. Um, so I'll put that down below and if you search their site, you will find, I think, I think pretty much all the leathers are going to have the half letter size. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing. So if you want a size, want this size, I'd say go ahead and get it because, um, this is sort of an unusual size that I don't know if there's going to be a huge demand for it and whether they'll keep the size. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But I did want to show it and show the comparison to other sizes because it, uh, it can be a little confusing as to exactly how big this is compared to the other notebooks. All right. Well, thank you so much. I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Bye.